Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So, of course, y'all right now, get ready to pull the energy. Um, see what's good with the Virgo crew. But, however, don't forget, flip your roles. Take what you need. Leave what you don't need. Use the spirit of discernment, okay? Y'all know how this go, right? You know how I flow. If you're triggered by anything, face your mirror, not my comment section. I love you, though, okay? Don't forget, hit the like button, the thanks button if you're feeling generous, and the subscribe button if you feel in my vibe i definitely appreciate all my ogs you guys are awesome uh, thank you so much for showing up for me thank you guys for all of your love and your prayers for me and my son as well we appreciate y'all we definitely do i'm telling you um this i'm telling you i don't know what in the world i would do without y'all okay um but however let me set my intentions <sighs> breathe my watch is telling me to take a moment just to breathe take that moment to practice mindfulness so what are you thankful for all right so you can think about that and just start to put it out there as i'm saying my prayer um what you're thankful for and even thank the divine and thank the universe for um the blessings that you do have and everything that is working out for you and thank god or the you know however it resonates for you for um the things that you've already even prayed for and you're waiting for it to manifest okay so of course um gratitude puts us in the energy of being able to receive and puts us in alignment with the flow of the universe all right now Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides, for helping me with Virgo's reading. Thank you that my true guides are here with me. Protect us as we go through these portals. Close the gates to anything not in alignment to the divine's will. And thank you for using me as Virgo's messenger. And so it is. Thank you. Show me some what I need to see for Virgo's energy. And again, if this isn't your energy, it's someone's connected to you, okay? That envy card has been coming out all day, y'all. I don't know what's going on, okay? Angel of Balance, the envy card, and community card, all right? So, somebody in the community, okay, could envy you or could be dissatisfied, or this could be you feeling this way about somebody else. And it's some balance that needs to be had right now. I feel like the angel of balance is definitely around you trying to bring you um, that inner peace and harmony. Okay, so I'm going to see what this is about, right? So oh, this is involving some other people, right? But however, I'll let Tarot talk for me. Tell me about the envy. What is, what is this envy? What is the community? This angel of, of balance. What is this about here? Tell me what I need to see. What is this envy energy? The lovers. Wow. <laughs> the lovers is also my twin flame card. Gemini energy. The lovers could be somebody you have a strong bond with. It could be somebody you're married to a partnership you know whatever that is okay and is someone envious over them Yes. <clears throat> so why? So whoever you are connected to, someone's envious over this. Five of Swords comes out. Somebody feels defeated. Okay. Tell me why. Why is this person envious? Why are they defeated? nine of wands comes out in the reverse in the magician because it's something that this person was trying to manifest okay so this energy is so it's so ooh. it's something this person was trying to manifest here and um 
let me look up this nine of inspiration it's like they're feeling defeated it's like you know how you want to give up because whatever it is that you two have it's unbreakable like the lovers card that that type of bond is definitely nothing can get in between that okay yeah somebody is is actually um it's like they're you know how you throw in a towel type situation that that energy i feel like they could have been you know really persistent at first and standing at ground and fighting for what they want but now it's like i don't know okay so whoever this person may be again third party person okay tell me about this third party hey muse comes out it's like their perspective is totally flawed right now right and it's they're uncertain it's like because they're hanging okay and it's like I keep seeing it. It's like this person is is almost like they watch you or something. I don't know if they watch you through social media, but it's almost that look, like uh, like that envious look. Yeah, cause I got the higher phone. I just seen it. So some of you may be. Um, in the community you may be in the limelight you may be you know seen for what you do okay you may be um a mentor a teacher you could be uh some doing something online like through youtube through social media things like that okay um because this is how they're seeing you all right so um with the seven of inspiration coming out that's like the seven of wands uh, i believe right but again it's like no matter what this what it's like no matter you just keep shining it's like you keep pushing through it's like you got so much stuff that's consuming you like the darkness is like all around you but you're still shining and this person is envious because it's like how are you able to do this they're totally disappointed Whatever they were trying to do is not working, okay? So they're not manifesting it. And yeah, and you're still shining. You're still like resilient as hell, okay? No matter what the adversity is, no matter what's coming up against you. These are the same cards that are coming out like from last night's reading, y'all. So if you missed that, go back and catch that reading because um, all of it is going to tie together. Because I think I remember speaking about a Queen of Wands in reverse, I think. Can't remember, but... Yeah, you're still defending your position. Even though you're being attacked, you're still protecting yourself. You're in a light. You ain't worried about people's negative opinions. You don't have the scarcity mindset, whatever. It's like you're still like pushing through all of it. And it's a lot of stuff that's coming, you know, at Virgo's period. I feel like, like I said, it's almost like a spiritual warfare, right? Um <clears throat> Mm -hmm. But you get in your justice. It's like, regardless, you are protected. And the scales are still balancing for you. Okay, so. Yep, look at that. Nine materials. Look at it. Liberated. Still free. Still building, still growing, still expanding. You're still planting your seeds, you know. You're still doing all of these things. And this person is just like, look, life getting better. You feel me with the will card. And there, boom, and this energy full of materials. Still holding on. You know. The will's turning for you. And, and whoever this person is, they're envious of that, so... What do they want to happen? Yeah, the moon card comes out, you know, eight of emotions. It's like they wanted to create some type of illusions, but it's you're still moving towards your higher purpose in life. You still like, you know, you're tapping into your intuition is, is how I'm seeing it. And it's still guiding you to move forward regardless of what's happening. You're still operating and moving in your life purpose or whatever it is that you're passionate about regardless of what's happening okay so it's like you're still pushing through what did they expect to happen what were they trying to get to happen they wanted you in hangman position stuck 
not being able to see, uncertain. What's the, what does this justice look like? Six of Pentacles. Them watching you, getting everything that you deserve. News of inspiration comes out. Okay, so let me look that one up. And that's why they're envious. Because you still are in the flow of abundance. And the universe is making sure that they see you. Yep, inspirational success. You're an inspired leader. You're a visionary. You're thinking big. The ability to bring many moving parts together into one large story is like, boom, this is who you are, okay? Let me find out. Mm. It's hard, right, to be this, right? But Virgo is very resilient, regardless, 11-11 on the time, okay? Virgo is very resilient. You got the angel of balance that's literally helping you, okay, right now to stay centered and to make self-honoring choices so that you can build this solid foundation for yourself, right? Because everything has literally been out of out of zinc for you in the past okay but it's a greater equilibrium that's coming into your life right now all right so you gotta remain conscious of your energies your physical your emotional energies all of that right so remember that stay conscious of that okay here we got a king of wands coming through and I still feel like that's like that motivational and inspiring energy it's like you're still in this leadership energy you're in the spotlight, right? Some of you are doing public speaking. Some of you are doing things where you, again, you're just being recognized because you're you're in a leadership role. All right, so keep your eyes on the bigger picture. Communicate your vision. Um, don't be sensitive to anybody's criticism. They hate you. I'm saying whatever it is that this person doing. I mean, they do a lot of evil eye on you. I'm telling you, all right? So I don't know who this feminine energy is. That's what I'm feeling, right? Look at that. Conflict. Okay, could be a fire sign. These are all fire sign um, cards that's out here. This is a lot of conflict with um, opposing people, like their opinions, whatever. But it don't have nothing to do with you, right? I always say that. It's like, I don't care if you don't like me. That don't have nothing to do with me, right? That's your issue, not mine. And that's what it's telling you. It's telling you to walk away from the drama unless you really feel like the situation is worth your time. But and then you stand up for yourself. But otherwise, it's not it's not worth your time. You don't have to fight this. This is how I'm seeing it. You just stay centered and you still keep staying in your leadership position. You keep shining, right? Keep pushing the darkness away. That's it. Staying resilient. Okay, these people can be very ambitious, but hey, they don't got nothing on you for real. Because you you're the called one. That's how I'm hearing it. You're the chosen one. Okay. You got the options. All right. So make a choice right don't procrastinate you know and and you want to make certain decisions here based off of your intuition okay but get the clarity on what it is that you desire and continue to move forward okay continue to move forward right uh, and uh, look because this is what you build in ten of pentacles i did a reading where i was like fuck um what i said f those um miserably minded people right it was a collective reading like this energy has literally been coming out y'all check like i tell y'all check out all the readings they all come together but this is where you are aiming that ten of pentacles where you can build your legacy literally financial security for yourself and your family where you coming together with someone that you love and building this foundation together, okay, to have that peace and contentment in your life, all right? You're going to be passing on the knowledge that you have to your children. So don't worry, right? Don't let the negative thoughts or anything like that interfere because, again, those the worry energy, the low vibrational thoughts is what makes it easier for you to get what or be under attack okay from these negative energies these lower vibrational energies all right so um yeah you already know you already know right we we operating in our masculine energy right now right and feminine so we balancing it both right with the empress 
Okay, like I said, it's like a, it's, it, I feel like it's um, a reverse empress. This is someone who lacks that self awareness. Okay, someone who um, is very insecure. All right, they uh, could be a mother, but it doesn't have to be like a mother figure, have children, however, right? Um, it was just really just a really insecure person. And you're the empress. Okay. You possess that feminine energy where you give birth to your dreams, all right? And you're very successful. You attract the abundance. You attract the prosperity. You attract the opportunities into your life, all right? So, um, yeah, right. Like, that's what I just, oh, look, I'm talking to my spirit team at the same goddamn time. Like, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you are in alignment, okay? My spirit team, like, yeah, like they just straight haters. You know what I mean, they just, they just haters, right? And they want to cause adversity towards you here with the six of wands energy. But the victory is yours. All right, you making a lot of wise choices, and it's bringing public recognition and success. I'm talking promotions, awards, scholarship, whatever. Right, you got that. And these people are upset, okay, because you still shining regardless of the adversity and especially whatever they've been trying to cook up in their kitchen, you know, being little kitchen witches, right, for some of them. All right, so look, mm -mm, you still got the victory, okay, so you still got the victory. Keep going here. I love this, y'all, because that's it. Yeah, the dreamer. Okay, some of you are steers, but you got a new start that's coming. It's already here, and that's what they're telling you. Just to go ahead and walk through it. You know, trust yourself. Push whatever your fears are to the side and just take the leap of faith and keep shining. You got your guardian angels that are literally just like watching you and to make sure that you are successful. Because the direction that you're headed into is a part of your life path. And that's your guardian angel's job is to make sure that you successfully fulfill that purpose. Okay, so keep going. All right, y'all. Trust yourself. Okay. F the naysayers. F the haters. All right. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing so much about it. But it's funny to me. <laughs> now, let me see something here. Mm, 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 mm. I wish I could find my dig on um I don't see it. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, nope, I don't see them. I gotta find those cards. I can't even remember the name of them. I know it when I see it because they're in a yellow box. But I don't see it right now. I see my goddess deck. I may pull from this one too. Too many cards. <clears throat> there we go. Heart chakra. Okay, so... Um, you may want to work on that, right? Because remember, you got to be open and, or some of you may actually literally be open, okay, in the heart chakra because um, this is what's helping you to invite all this goodness to you, right? So when you're open to receive, all right, you good, right? Because that's how you want to be. You want to be balanced in that area. Um, it does take time to heal, you know, and take all the time that you need. But what you're looking for is harmonious relationships, um, connections, um, healing, things like that, right? And um, again, it's like, however long it takes you, it's all good as long as you're taking the steps to do it, okay? So let me pull from the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck real quick and see what messages come out to close out because I got to be up early in the morning because my son has to get a bone density test done and um, some blood work, so inner wisdom. Athena, you know what to do. So trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Okay. Trust your inner wisdom. And focus intentions. All right. So Diana, Q, 
Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. All right. I need to read that one. Yeah, that's all you need to be focusing on. I always say, like, look, I got tunnel vision. I don't know what the freak y'all talking about. All I see is whoop, <laughs> my target, and that's it. Tenacity means sticking to a decision and not allowing outside forces to sway you. Imagine yourself to be like a mighty oak tree with roots, with your roots deeply planted into Mother Earth. Feel your solid strength and steady upward growth. Know that no matter what happens, you will succeed. Your branches may twist and turn as you flex towards the light, yet your unwavering intentions will ensure that no faint wind will sway you from your mission. Be in charge of your body, your schedule, your mind, and keep the focus upon your target, okay? Stay positive. Know what your priorities are and take action on them. Take control of your schedule. Release all doubts and avoid naysayers and skeptics. What did I say? Fuck them haters, right? F the naysayers, y'all. <laughs> The skeptics, the people who got their nose turned up at you, the people who are hating on you from the sidelines, okay? You still doing what, what it do. This is your purpose. This is your mission. Keep moving forward, y'all. I love y'all. Good night. Peace. <laughs>